guys, it's Green Tech Network again. Um, I wanted to put together a quick video on assembling the popular and cheap acrylics cases for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I see a lot of these on eBay, and they tend to be the uh, cheapest ones available. I bought mine from, as you can see here, uh, Ziggy Maj, Ziggy Maj, and I got it for eight dollars and eighty-four cents, free shipping. So it's pretty good. Um, I already went ahead and took off. There was like a protective um, film kind of tape stuff over all the pieces to protect it from getting scratched, I guess. So I went ahead and took those off. Um, so when you're looking at the separate pieces, you'll notice that they have like laser etching, I guess, on them. I don't know if it's laser or, drill or, or Dremel or whatever. But it's only on one side. Um, obviously the letters become reversed if you flip it over. So whatever side it's on, that's the part that's going to be facing outwards in the case. So this is the, I guess we can call this, let me turn this around then. This, I guess we can call this the front. So that's the front piece. Um, this is the side with the headphone and video, as you can see. So that goes on this side like that. This is the side with the HDMI, which is this side. And this is the back, which has the USB and Ethernet. Um, this is the top. Uh, the main reason I bought this was because it has holes in it with the logo, so it allowed like good airflow. So that was the main reason I bought this style case. Um, that's the top. This is the bottom, obviously. So what you need to do is you kind of need to assemble it, and as you go, we, like the Raspberry Pi is going to be inside the pieces you're putting together because like the video port sticks out and everything sticks out so you can't like assemble the case and then put the Raspberry Pi in it doesn't work that way. So we can start by putting the sides on. I'll put these two sides on. Um, it's kind of difficult to hold while you're doing it. You know what, so I put the side on and then I'm going to grab the back piece. I'm trying to position it so you guys can see too. So that goes like that, and it just kind of pops right in there. You can see the slots pop into the other slots on the side. And then the HDMI goes on. It's kind of difficult to hold this. Right like that. And then so we can put, um, it's a good idea to put the top on right now, because you can kind of still slide it in. So it goes, it goes this way. So you just want to match it up with the, um, little uh, thing on the motherboard so it fits, uh, slides in correctly. And the two notches on the top just slide in on the holes on the left and right side. So once you get that on, then we can put the front on. Swirl around. So this kind of, like you can see from the side, these hooks, you kind of just drop it on like that and they hook on. And on the bottom, you can see these are ridged and they're designed to bend. So you push down and then push that in. So that slides in right like that. And then for the last back piece, same kind of deal. You just hook them on the top. It's kind of hard to see it see through, but hook them on and then push down here and push it in. So there it is. It's all put together. Um, it's pretty good. And it looks pretty good. You know. Okay, so that's that. Um, I will be having more videos in the future on installing operating systems. Um, you know, using the GPIO pins and everything. Once I figure out how to get it up and running and all that. So um, thanks for watching.